Are you wanting to stream Call of Duty Mobile, Arena of Valor, maybe even Mobile Legends, plus let's say PUBG Mobile for example, and maybe you don't have this kind of setup? Well, worry not. Because if you look more like this, then there is still hope for you. I'm Anworo7 and I'm going to teach you today how you can stream directly, no extra devices, just your mobile device like an iPhone or an Android device and be able to show off to the world your favorite pastime and maybe one day take it even higher than a hobby. But let me set your expectations first. Depending on the platform you have, at least for now, you might not be able to do it. Let me explain why. So there's a plethora of apps that you can use and some are better than others, some are free, some are not. And if you want the best one, I would actually suggest just go for Streamlabs. That's kind of like what Swiss army of apps. It actually allows you to do your live streams with your alert box, your event box, you know, the little thing that pops whenever someone donates or someone follows and whatnot. Of course, you have to set up your donations before that happens, but for follows, subscribes, and likes and whatnot, shares, those things will come out with Streamlabs. So I would suggest do Streamlabs if you're a beginner, but if you know more of what you want, definitely you can play around with other apps. When it comes to mobile streaming without a PC, it's actually quite simple. And as long as you have an iPhone, iPad, or an Android device, pretty much anything that can handle, you know, not a, not those low end Android devices, because it'll, it'll probably burn uh, down or catch on fire, but, well, wait, even the high-end ones do. That's an old joke, so let's grow up and talk about the actual fact that on mobile, you can use any of these apps. Like, those are just some examples of the ones that will allow you to be able to stream to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, and it'll do a decent job. Of course, it all depends on your local network, your upload and download. Um, if you need help with any of those things, just let me know on social medias under endworo 7 and don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the bell and a like along the way so you get notified whenever new videos come out because if you need help with that let me know and I can make a video about it. As you can see on the screen right now I this is the example of a live uh, camera like a vlog style stream on iOS. Uh, iPad, iPhone, same thing the apps are actually quite well done for both devices so what you see on the iPad is going to work on the iPhone pretty much the same. Uh, the one thing though on iOS, as you can see here on the live one, you can have alerts, events and whatnot while you're using the camera one to stream like a vlog. But if you're gonna screen capture, it takes these steps right here. These steps is what you need to do in order to do a screen capture, right, great, great, right? But there's an issue. iOS as of right now, 14.2 latest iOS. So this might change in iOS 15 if we make enough noise about it, guys. So make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Let's go on social medias and use a hashtag. I don't know which one, but we need to come up with one because we need Apple to fix this. In Android, as you have seen sometimes, there's an example right here. You can have Messenger be a little bubble uh, that pops over the interface and you could like talk to your Messenger people and uh, do other things. Maybe you're doing YouTube and it's sort of like iOS has this notification thing, you know, pops on the top, but it's much better on Android. On Android, it can actually be on top of everything. You could be surfing the web and then the message comes, you just tap the little bubble, answer to that, the bubble just hides in the corner or something. It's beautiful, it's amazing. Apple. You should copy that. The the reason why I mentioned all those all those uh, that messenger example on Android is on iOS you can't really do that. Yes, you can do now finally picture in picture on the iPhone. The thing is on iOS you cannot do your camera at the same time as you're playing a game. For example, this Android version, you can do your camera for your stream, plus whatever you're screen capturing and your alerts on top of that, because it's Android. On iOS, you're limited to just screen capture, but you can't share your camera and you can't have alerts. Uh, I don't know if the alerts is just an app specific. I haven't been able to find an app that actually allows alerts. So I think it is an API iOS limitation. I hope I'm wrong, but so far I don't think I am. That limitation on of itself is why mobile gaming streaming at least you must I, I suggest that if you're gonna if you're not if you're not camera shy and you want to take it to you know stick out from the crowd you're gonna probably gonna have to do it on Android at least for now but of course there is a solution for everything is the world of technology if you want to do the same thing on iOS I have a video up on my channel little bubble here where I'll show you how you can use a computer a Mac or PC to be able to stream with themes alerts events and then your camera on your your mobile game so that's mobile gaming. I've done streaming uh, on my from my iPhone or iPad 
to Facebook Gaming directly. And the quality, I have a Netgear RX 500 router and a really good upload speed and download. So definitely your mileage might vary on that. Quality is consistent, the audio is great. Of course, the microphones, definitely use AirPods or something because your hands are gonna be touching the device and it might be a little wonky. Uh, but as a casual level, as a casual level, as a casual level, if you want to stream mobile games, you can just plug and play, play around with it, you know, see if you like it, see if you get a crowd, maybe your mom or grandma. But if you want to take it higher, I'm definitely going to recommend check out my videos I mentioned earlier, or just have an Android device that can do that, at least for now. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Let's make some noise on Apple so they get their act straight and allow us to have that ability because iOS has the best chips in them. They can handle it for sure. It it already does capturing images like video recording it can do it from the front camera and the back camera at the same time at 1080p at least so definitely guys let's make some noise but until then i'm in world 7 and if you want to keep in touch just hit me up on the interwebs till next time keep it fresh peace